you know, we usually think of, of newborns as, as uh, pristine and, and pure, but that's not necessarily the case anymore when we're talking about toxicity, are we? Is that's, it? that's right. I mean, we've, we've, we've come, ever since the thalidomide tragedy of the 1950s and 60s, uh, the medical community has understood that, unfortunately, a lot of chemicals can cross the placenta from the mother's bloodstream to the baby's bloodstream, get into the baby, and, and cause damage. The, the placenta is a, a great protector against physical trauma, like mm -hmm. if the mother trips and falls, that kind of thing, but it doesn't protect against chemicals. So I guess the obvious question when we talk about toxicity in, in newborns and little kids is, on, on the whole, where is it coming from? Well, different chemicals come from different places. Lead comes from old lead paint. Uh, mercury, methyl mercury specifically, comes from certain species of fish, like tuna, like swordfish, like king mackerel, like shark, that are high in methyl mercury. Pesticides uh, can come from foods, uh, and by the way, or eating organic food is a great way to protect mm. against pesticides and foods. The pesticides can also come when a woman has her home or her apartment or her garden or her lawn sprayed with pesticides while she's pregnant. Mm. You mentioned lead and lead paint. Is that still a big problem? Yeah, a surprise. I mean, I think a lot of people are under the misimpression that lead has disappeared from yeah. this country, but the CDC uh, states that close to 40 million apartments and homes in this country still have lead paint. And that lead paint becomes a danger when it deteriorates. It becomes a danger when people decide that they want to take an old house and renovate it to make the house perfect for the new baby, and they don't realize that when they sand the old lead paint, they expose the pregnant woman, and then in turn the baby is exposed, and it's a, it can be a very dangerous situation.